Hey guys, all right, so I sat down to do my makeup and I was gonna make do a review video on the new e.l.f. blush candle lit halo glow beauty wand blush, okay? I have mine in the shade, is that, is that the shade candle lit? Maybe it is, I don't know, I'll have to look it up, it's not really telling me. So anyway, I was gonna do a review video on this and I was like, well, get all ready first and then save the blush for last and then I'll just do the video on it. But then I was like, well, no, I don't think people just wanna watch, you know, a two minute put my blush on just to say this is good or not good or I like it or don't like it. Let's make a li little bit longer of a video so we'll do a get ready with me style. But then I was also like, yeah, but people in my comments are like, oh, she talks too much. Oh, it took me two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes to really get to the point. Oh, I so you guys let me know in the comments. Are you cool with just like, I tried this blush, it's okay. Like that just seems so weird to me. Like, I don't know, I, I rather would see a longer form video. That's just my preference. Now I know the short form content is addicting, but that doesn't mean it's better. Okay. That this, that anyway, I'm not going to go into why addictions aren't actually good for you. Um, but, uh, yeah, so you guys let me know in the comments how you feel about that. But today we're just going to do it. We're going to do a get ready with me style. We're going to review this blush. And so here we go. All right. So I'm just putting, and I've also had people say that they want, they don't like the voiceover as much. And I'm sure you can't please everybody, you guys, you know what, like everyone has their own preferences, but the people that actually told, um, commented about what they like, they said they prefer me chit-chatting a little bit during it and they don't like the voiceover as much. So again, if you would rather have the voiceover, put that in the comments as well. We gotta interact, y'all. If you don't tell me, how will I know? Okay. So very simple look today. I have got to be a substitute teacher today, so I can't um be too crazy with the makeup so it's gonna be natural and I did my hair today which is a very rare thing for me um so I'm also going to church tonight so I feel like justified in having a little bit of makeup on and my hair done you know what I'm saying okay so I'm gonna go ahead and use this uh blade brow brow pencil from Relove My eyebrows, they just go wild. Um, and you guys, like, let me know in the comments, like, do you get annoyed or like, just kind of exasperated maybe with all the new slang terms, you know, hip terms, and you're just like, when did we start saying that? Like, the word wild. When I, for my whole life, it's always been crazy. Like, my eyebrows are going crazy today, but now if it's crazy, people say wild. When did that happen? Y'all let me know in the comments. And because my eyebrows are going wild and crazy, I am going to apply a little bit of this. I can find my liner brush. Um, this is the e.l.f. brow gel. I keep seeing videos for ladies that have, um, get their brows laminated and they look so like beautiful and natural and just, it just looks pretty. And then, um, but then I'm like, I don't think I could do that. Cause if my, if you brush my eyebrows up, they're going to be like this high on my head, you know, like, and it's just gonna make me look like, yeah. <laughs> do we want that? Is that what we're going for these days? I don't know. All right. So we're going to do some mascara. I'm gonna try one that I haven't used for a while just for the fun of it. Um, oh, can I do that though? I don't think I can do that actually because I don't wanna be smudging all day. So I'm just gonna use the L'Oreal Telescopic Lift, which I do like. And I do wipe the brush off though, ladies, so take note of that. I think this is the shade Candlelit. Um, I had originally put in my cart from Sephora, I put in the rosier one. This is like a peachy, it's almost like a rose gold actually. It's really, really shimmery and, um, oh, and already, I don't know if you can see, see this little gap right here? That's a problem. 
I'm afraid I'm going to hold it though, because so I don't, yeah, I'm pushing on the tube and the gap is expanding. I don't want it to pop off from the pressure. You know what I'm saying? All right. It's starting to come out the top. Okay. So I'm afraid this might be a little too shimmery. Not as pigmented as I was expecting, so I'm just going to... Oh, it's pretty! Um, I think I already have a similar shade of blush to this. I'm going to go ahead and use my She Glam Liquid Blush brush. Oh, it's really pretty. It is very rose gold. It's really pretty. It is sort of... I mean, it's shimmer, so it's going to highlight all your texture if you have any. It's really pretty though. I want to say this was like nine dollars. What I really like that I am noticing, oh take that back, I took that right back. I was gonna say what I really like is it's not messing up up my foundation underneath but it did. It removed some of that foundation. You can kind of see that little dark patch right there. So I think like however you decide to use this, um, you might apply it to the back of your hand first, then load your brush. And I'll give you a little bit of a, that's what it's looking like. It is pretty. And then it will be maybe a little bit easier. So it doesn't move around your makeup underneath. Okay, and so since we've got this sort of a look, what? lip should I wear? It's not overly pigmented or not highly pigmented. This is probably really beautiful on like very fair girls um, and maybe if you uh, have a deeper skin tone this would work great as like a highlight um, rather than just a blush. I think for me it's okay. Um, not too, it's not super pigmented though. I think like the shade of this is similar to the e.l.f.'s uh, multi stick like the like I think it's lip and cheek multi sticks um, which I tried I didn't love those I like this formula much better it's actually reminding me of this shade this is a little bit more pigmented though this is the um, hard candy silk blush and plus mango butter just glow blush in the shade uh, gush blush um, yeah it's got more of the peachy pink pigment in it so it's a little bit shows up a little bit more um, whoa this is the elf bite size this is very uh, similar in tone this is the shade Watermelon Bite Size Blush. And the, um, the uh, highlight is not as shimmery as the highlight that's in this, but I think you could probably get a similar look with this, uh, their Bite Size line. Um, yeah, I think it's really pretty. Um, do I think it's like crazy amazing? Not really, like it's okay. Um, it is really pretty though. And I do like e.l.f. products. I'm just going to go ahead and apply this. That gloss. Mm. Don't know if I love that gloss, especially over my foundation lips. But um, okay, well, there you have it. I think that if you are looking for a liquid blush and a shimmery liquid blush, especially like for summertime coming up, spring and summer, like I think you might like this. It is very highlighty though. Um, it's nice, but it's not blowing me away. Um, and maybe it's just me because like, I don't, you know, I don't really care. This is not like high on my list of things, makeup things. Like I love, my, my thing is always eyeshadows and um, skin products coverage products and lips. So blush is like way, way, way down on the list for me. Um, but it is nice. If you're looking for something like this, I think you will like this. The method of application I think is easy enough. Um, this might be great for like no makeup days. If you just want to have like a little bit of concealer here, there, wherever, no makeup day, you might really like this. So um, yeah, I don't think it's a bad product at all, um, but I'm not doing backflips over it. It doesn't seem like it's this so amazing product that it deserves all this hype surrounding it. I don't know if there is hype because I haven't been paying attention too much. I just noticed that it was new and so I picked it up. Um, so that's really all I have to say about this and I will wear it for the rest of the day and anything weird happens, I will update in the description. Um, and so it's nice. It does what it says it's gonna do. It's nice. If you're willing to spend the $9 on it, then I don't think you'll hate it. And it's, I think it'll last a long time too. So that's all I got. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to thumbs up, like, subscribe, ding that bell, and I will see you in the next one.